Hi, this video will demonstrate how to create an audit report so that you can audit the dates across an employee's record. So the best way to do that um, is that Kathy Watts here, the Director of Payroll and HR uh, for her company, is going to go to the hamburger, she's going to go to the team icon, then my team, and then go to employee information. And um, she can just go to any one of these lists out here. Uh, let's just go to this default list. And in here, she can make changes to the columns on this report. So let's add and remove some columns. Uh, she doesn't need to know if it's in payroll or locked or what region or role they are in. Um, and so we're gonna remove those. And she's wanting to audit for dates to make sure that her rehire date and her started date are the, a match. So we're gonna type date in the search field and we want start date and, or that's contract, let's go to employee dates. Let's go to uh, hired, started, and rehired. And we'll add those to the report, say apply. And now you can save view so we would save the view for date audit report. Kathy's not gonna make it her default because she doesn't wanna look at it all the time. She just wants to be able to see it periodically and share it and save. And now she has the ability to say um, if the rehire date is not null, refresh, and now she can compare the rehire date versus the started date, and she can make those match. So um, this is where you would compare that information, and then um, be able to go back into the employee record and make any adjustments that need to be made.